Hello, this is Xavier Vaughn. Jalen. Brooklyn. And we are uh, Nicole's kids. She's the head of this channel, I guess. She makes all the cookie videos and all that stuff. And we're trying to do something special for her for Mother's Day. We are going to make her, I think, pizza, French toast, and um, maybe buy her a pie. If not, make one, which is going to be kind of hard. And we'll post it to this channel. It's something new, and she hasn't really agreed to it yet, but it's kind of a surprise for her for Mother's Day. And hopefully more content like this might come out in the future if you guys like it. Alright guys, here we are. We just got back from the grocery store and we got um, some things that we didn't know we were going to get beforehand. Like we got some um, candy for Shax like M&M cookie, um, M&M's and cookies as well, I think. And we got her a pie. We bought one because we don't know how to make any. It's like a variety pie because we don't know what, what she wanted. But we know she likes cheesecake. So we got cheesecake kind of, you know. So now we're going to dive back home and hopefully put the stuff away and prepare it for tomorrow without her noticing. See you guys. Hey, it's Nicole with Life's Sweeter Side. I have a birthday order that I'm working on this weekend um, for its dinosaurs. So I'm going to, I'm decorating two different types of, of dinosaurs. Um, this little guy and this little guy and I'm using lots of colors. I've um, got some purples, oranges, green, all that good stuff. And then I actually made another cookie cutter. Um, it's the number two, because he's two. And just kind of put some of these little, I don't know what you call them, plates or something that the dinosaurs have. Just put some on the back, so just to kind of make it fun, I'm going to write his name down there. So with the dinosaurs, I'm doing a really, uh, really pretty easy design on this, and and it's it's the wet on wet, which I think I've had have a video a previous video on this. But what I'm going to do, I want to make the plates um, like a brown. I think I'm going to do. I haven't totally decided, but I'm going to just kind of do the body first here. So I'm going to start at the top and outline for my flooding, but I'm going to not outline where the plates are since I'm going to do a different color. So we'll outline this whole guy underneath. So the little legs, fat little legs. And like I said, there are going to be a couple different color combinations for this set, but we'll just do the green right now because for my next guy, I'm going to use the same colors. And we'll just flood. Whoops. going pretty good. I got pretty good consistency today. I just love the look of a perfect flood. Looks so smooth. And then I just kind of go back. Sometimes I don't get it lined up perfectly with my flood, so I just go back. A couple of these little air bubbles out. Today is a rainy day. I'm here by myself. Well, my daughter, my daughter and I, that's my daughter's my camera woman today. Um, my boys and my husband are out helping my brother-in-law move brother-in-laws. So, it's been really quiet today. Okay, so I've got the base on there. Now, just to, like I said, I'm going to do the wet on wet technique, just kind of do some spots. Now, this is for a two-year-old, so keep that in mind. I want these to be playful, yet for him to be able to look at it and say it's a dinosaur. So I'm just going to put some little spots on here, just wherever. Now I'm going to do some different size spots too. So first I want to get these down. When you're doing the wet on wet, simple enough just to put some little uh, dots of icing on there. Whatever size, shape, whatever you want. Um, and then you just kind of, just to kind of flatten it, because it'll, it'll flatten and be flush with the other icing, so it's kind of... Uh, not melting, but it's kind of like a melting. It's kind of going into the icing. <clears throat> Sometimes it'll, if you have a little bit thicker dot, it might take a little bit longer. If you just take your, 
your boo-boo stick or, or whatever and just poke through it and bring it out and then I just kind of flatten it out. So then I'm gonna take that green again and I'm just, I'm just gonna make some smaller ones. Just give it a little bit. And you can do, like I said, two-year-olds, you can really do whatever you want on this. Um, just want them to look cute for him. Okay, so I've got the dots on here. I'm just gonna set him aside because later I'll come back after this has, has at least crusted over, which means the top is is a little bit firmer. I'll carefully move it again and maybe do my do the plates on the back. That way um, it, it doesn't, it's not gonna do the wet on wet. If I put the brown on right now or whatever color I decide, it would do more of a wet on wet, which you can do. It's really personal preference on that. So there's that cute little guy. Okay, so let's get this one. So this one I think is kind of fun. I'm gonna put, do a little bit Again, wet on wet, and you're going to see me using two different colors with this. So first I'm going to do just a little different color on his belly underneath here. So we'll do the lighter green. We'll outline it, then let's flood. And after I've done this, when it's still wet, I'm going to go ahead and put my darker green on. Now some people will do this part, set it aside, and then let it dry. And what that will do is just really give dimension. It'll show this, you'll, you'll see basically a line here, um, kind of like the belly's outline and the rest of him is outlined. And that's okay too. Some cookies I like that better. This one I just kind of, I want it to be um, just kind of all flush, just like my just like my spots are. So I'm gonna right away take my green and you'll see this outline here looks like it's gonna stay a defined outline. Okay, so let's get him outlined. And what you'll see when I'm done, since I'm doing this darker green right away against the light green, you will not see that outline. Okay, so let's go ahead and flood this guy. And I'm going to do something similar with him and put the spots on the back too. This little cookie swivel thing is pretty awesome. I think I need to get a new one though. Um, you shouldn't get it wet because it kind of rusts, it could rust underneath and doesn't. It's just kind of like your crock pots and all that stuff with those things with the cords attached you got to be really careful so with constant washing it's just kind of a little bit more difficult to turn so kind of need a new one but this is perfect because then you're not trying to move the cookie with your fingers although I still tend to do that sometimes um, by turning the cookie swivel then I'm not getting my fingers in it and messing it up which I mess up at least one cookie in every order. I always get my finger in it somehow. And that's with me being trying to be really careful. Okay. Like right now, gotta pick him up because I wanna shake him because this one, I don't know why my green looks so, not as, a few more holes in this one. Air bubbles and such out. And then we'll put some spots on him too. And I'm gonna put little, faces on them as well later. I do want dimension with those, so I'm gonna do the faces after this green has dried, at least crusted over. A lot of this is really just personal preference. What, you know, what do you like better? What technique looks better? It's not, there's no, no one better one over the other. I just like to, um, especially for when I'm videoing, keep it to the, the beginner ones. Because um, really, I, I'd like you to learn how to do this and do these techniques that um, look good but are really easy for you to do. And I'm just kind of being careful around my yellow because I don't want to get too much. I gotta put a line up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our spots on this little guy, just in whatever way you want. We have some bigger ones here. I'm 
I'm going to give him some down by his tail too. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of poke those, make sure, and it's okay if they're different. This one kind of has a little tail on it, but I just am going to pull it over a little bit. It doesn't have to be round. These are, these are animals. Nothing's ever, ever perfect, right? Um, but one thing I want to just point out is see this line right here where I have his different color of the belly. It just kind of all flooded together so it looks very, it looks smooth and seamless. All right, and then I'm going to let him dry and then we'll just really for him, I just need to finish up with putting on his eyes and his mouth when, when it um, gets dry. Okay, I'm done. Okay, we are going to finish these guys up. So I'm going to give this little guy mouth. So I cut my tip really small. I had I put it in a, a newer bag so that because when I was flooding I wanted a bigger tip, but this one I want pretty small. Put his little smiley face on and a little eye. And then I need to do, I don't know what these little things were called. Are they plates that some of these these little guys have? So let's put the plates on him. So I am just outlining each one, just so it looks like they're separate, not all one continuous plate. And I waited till my original flood was pretty dry, not completely, it just needs to really be, you can touch it real lightly and it doesn't make a dent. Well, actually it could make a dent, but you touch it real lightly and it's the icing is still not wet. Um, just because that way it won't look like the wet on wet technique. You'll see the two different, you'll see the dimension in it basically. All right, one little plate here. Okay, so this one I just need to straighten up a little bit because it's, it is up against his back here, so I do want it to be, to look, should have probably lined that first, but that looks okay. And again, this is for um, a two-year-old's birthday, so I want it to be really fun. Um, you could use, I could see if you wanted to use green on here too for the plates, just for something to be a little bit more colorful. filling in a few spots. Okay, so just gonna clean these little little guys up. And then we're gonna put some little kind of little toes on him, claws, whatever the heck they are. Just add a little bit more detail to it. So let's pull this out a little bit so they all look pointed. This is my brown just a little bit thicker because I was using it for the fine details of like the, the eyes and the, and the mouth, so that's why there's a little bit more um, kind of manip uh, man manipulating of the icing that I have to do to kind of get the thicker spots. Okay. Make sure I've got all the little... All right, so I think I'm gonna take this lighter green and make some little, just some little toes or something on him. I don't know what you would call it. Toenails? I don't know. Just for a little bit of detail. And it's a pretty thick icing and a pretty small opening. So that's why I, what I find is that um, I have to kind of wipe off the bag almost after every little dot just because it, it, because it's thicker, it kind of wants to clog up a little bit. So... There we go. All right, he's done. Fix this one a little bit. All right, there's our finished one for him. Isn't he cute? All right, so now let's do this little guy. Let's do his mouth first. This one will be a little bit easier to finish because there's not as much. over 
that kind of skipped a little bit on me. All right, just got his mouth on there. And then let's just put some little toes on this guy. I might have to do four because of the way it's... I don't know how many they're supposed to be, but I think it looks kind of cute. And then you'll see that these have dimensions, so these are not the wet-on-wet -wet technique, which makes it just a little bit... Doesn't make it look like it's just the spots as part of his. All right, he's good. So that's my that's my last finished one. And that's it. How cute are these? I'll share a picture of the whole set when I'm completely done with it. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. If you like if you like what you're seeing, make sure to um, follow my page, like the video. Um, you can go to www.lifesweeterside.com or and comment at the bottom if you want to keep seeing more. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right, so we just got her cheesecake and pizza ready, along with her favorite kind of soda. Yeah, she's coming down now. Well, excuse our messy kitchen. prepared for you. Happy Mother's Day! Hi Mother's Day, Mother! Hi, thank you! Well, okay, so that's, you. that's your you gift. Did. You guys made that? You guys made that? And there's your oh. present if you want to open that, along with your card. Yeah, guys, this is so sweet! You want to share if you want a regular sweet. or strawberry? There's a piece missing. Oh, why? Sweet. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> this and Mr. Pib? Oh, oh, you guys are awesome! awesome. I should pay extra. Extra Yay. pib. Oh, pib extra. I used to be called Mr. Pib. Thank you, guys. Oh, and your presents over there, Mom. My favorites. And I get a present too. Oh, you. You guys eat already? Yeah. I guess pillow can come in too. Why? She signed it in her initials. Yeah. I know you all signed it. Oh, oh, awesome. My favorites. What do you got? Let's see. I love it. I got my Dove Milk Chocolate. Why oh, it's not working very well with me here. And my and Peanut M&M's. It says sharing size, but I don't plan on sharing. <laughs> all my favorites with my favorite people. Thank you. Oh, I love you. I'm never going to have a Father's Day. Oh.